Hey there, sports fans and car enthusiasts. Welcome to the channel. We had so much fun opening up these rack packs of 1981 tops last time that I figured I have two more. Let's do it again. Will we find anything cool in here? Who knows? Let's dive right in. All right, folks, there we are. There's our two rack packs of 1981 tops. As a reminder, we are looking for really kind of three key cards in these 81 tops rack packs. One is the Kirk Gibson rookie card. The other is the Fernando Valenzuela rookie card. And the final is the Nolan 1981 Nolan Ryan star card. Those are probably the three most expensive or you know best cards within these 1981 sets here. Last time I ate the gum out of these, uh, I am not doing that again. Actually, I don't believe there are gum in these because they're rack packs, but thankfully I'll be spared the hospital emergency room uh, gum treatment here. But here we go. Kicking us off, we're going to open up the side panel of rack pack number one of 1981 tops and see what we can find. Here we go. We get the cellophane wrapping out of here. Starting us off on the top with George Medic of the Rangers. Behind him, there's Bobby Bonds. Big Papa Bonds there. The Cardinals. That is a kind of a cool photo. I like that. Behind him, Hall of Famer Ted Simmons. That's a pretty cool card. We'll set that aside as a mini hit. Uh, Kansas City Royals team card, following that. Joe Patini, there's kind of a Mandela effect. I don't remember him at all. And that looks like your glamour shot from high school from 1979. <laughs> not not too shabby. Jim Anderson with the Mariners. We'll set Jim aside. Oh, that's right, there is gum in these. That's, it is stuck in the middle. And unfortunately, my father's not going to like that because he is the Mariners fan and the Mariners card is going to get the gum. There is that 1981 gum. Ooh-wee. That gave me the, the collie wobbles in the stomach after taking a bite out of that last time. So we're not going to do that. We're going to set that aside. Jim Anderson of the Mariners. We're just going to take this off screen and brush that off there so my father can at least have a Mariners card there. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out follows after that. Wayne Nordhagen of the White Sox. Otto Velez of the Blue Jays. Doug Capilla of the Cubs. Bobby Castillo with the Dodgers. And Steve Renko rounds out that middle section. So we do have gum to contend with in these. We have gum powder to contend with with these. We have duplicates to contend with within these. You can see right there, Mike Tyson makes another appearance. Back to defend his title as probably the most found card in 1981 tops. Steve Henderson with the Mets kicks us off, though. There's Fred Lynn, all-star card. Let's set that aside as another mini hit. Fred Lynn was a great player. Um, the card's probably only worth a quarter or so, but we'll see. Los Angeles Dodgers team card follows. After that, Mike Lum with the Braves. Bob Watson with the Yankees. Alex Trevino with the Mets, and he is one of the victims of the gum card this time. And look who gets... Oh, that's so sad. All right, set those aside for a minute. We'll try and peel the gum off of Pedro Guerrero. Thankfully, not his rookie card, but his third-year card, maybe? But good player. Great player with the Dodgers. He, unfortunately, takes the gum. Len Barker with the Indians is next. Don Sutton Hall of Famer. There's another mini hit. Pretty cool. Set that Don Sutton aside. Jeff Burroughs with the Braves. Dan Meyer with the Mariners. Set that aside for my father-in-law. And there he is again, folks. Ding, 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 ding. Mike Tyson getting ready to punch himself out. <laughs> the plate, probably. <clears throat> All right. Into the last semi-cello pack of rack pack number one here. Here we go. Jim Barr looks like he's on the back there. On the front, we have Mike Vale with the Cubs. 
Followed by Wayne Garland with the Indians. Rudy May with the Yankees. There's the Cleveland Indians team card from 1981. There we go. Dave Roberts with the Rangers. Brian Asseltine with the Braves. And looks like Brian Asseltine is going to be one of the victims of the gum. Who is victim number two? Let's find out. Oh, my goodness. It is Rick Matula. Rick Matula with a face of looking like, why is I stuck to that gum that whole time? There it is, folks. The mythical 1981 gum. Running out this pack with Dave Roberts with the Mariners. We'll set that aside. There's Rick Roden. That's uh, not a bad card. Eric Wilkins with the Indians. There's Steve Renko again. So we are getting our duplicate cards for sure. Jim Barr with the Angels rounds us out. All right. Going into pack rack pack number two. And we will start again on the right-hand side panel. Pulling out on the back, we can see we have, looks like Jim Kern. I think it's Jim Kern. On the back there. Oh. The very hard to get into cello. Frank -na 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 on the front. Bud Harrelson with the Rangers then. I see our gum sliding out, so maybe the gum card here won't be too bad. Mike Heath with the Oakland A's. Elliot Maddox with the Mets. Mike Proley with the White Sox. Gary Thomason with the Dodgers. And he managed to survive the gum. He and Alan Bannister both. There's the gum from there. Alan Bannister. Ken Clay with the Rangers. There's Dale Murphy. That's kind of a little cool little mini hit. Not nearly as rookie, but great player. That might be worth, I don't know, a quarter, 50 cents or so. We'll set Dale aside as another little mini hit. Lee Mazzilli with the Mets. Ken Forsh with the Astros. And there he is, Jim Kern, who is on the back. We have little bits of gum that are just collecting here on here. Victor Cruz on the back of this mini cello pack here, or rack pack center number two. And pulling into, we'll flip this around. Britt Burns with the White Sox kicks us off with what looks to be a lot of gum residue and a very big uniform there. Oversized uniform on Britt Burns. Shane Raleigh with the Mariners is number two. We'll set that aside for my father-in-law. Johnny Grubb with the Rangers. Cesar Geronimo with the Reds. Bill Glickson, there's another gum piece that looks like it's not going to kill a card here. It's not going to kill Bob Baylor, who was on the front end of it. Nor will it kill Leon Roberts, yet another Mariners card. My father-in-law is making out in this one because he's got Leon Roberts and Jerry and Aaron. Both of, the, both of the Mariners. Might have an entire Mariners team set here by the time we're done. John Candelaria with the Pirates is next. Dave Stapleton with the Red Sox. Carney Lansford, great player with the Angels. And then Victor Cruz rounds us out there. One more cello pack to get through. We haven't found any of our, well, say, true star cards or rookie cards or anything in here yet. We have Silvio Martinez on the back here. And trying to be delicate about getting into. Ooh, nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. And get rid of that. On the front, Rob Wolfong with the Twins. Following up with Rennie Martin with the Royals. I have gum residue all over my fingers. Let me get rid of that. There's Joe Simpson. Yet another Mariners card. There you go, father in law. Tommy Boggs with the Braves. Eddie Whitson with the Giants. Ray Burris with the Mets. He is one of the two gum cards and Terra Forster's there. Unfortunately, oh, this one's not too bad. Ray Burris. Jerry Turner with the Padres. It's the other end of that gum card. Terry Forster with the Dodgers, like I said before. There we go. Rick Langford with the A's. Kent Tocolvi with the Pirates. Behind Kent is Rick Bossetti with the Blue Jays and... Silvio Martinez rounds us out. So, 
Not a whole lot in those 1981 rack packs there. Just a handful of minor star cards. Dale, Mur Dale Murphy, Don Sutton, Fred Lynn, and Ted Simmons. So didn't get a whole lot out of that one. But uh, always still fun to open. I love opening early 80s, late 70s tops. Um, especially when the gum is still intact and you can see it. There you go. Don't eat it. Just look at it. It's kind of like art. But there you go, folks. There's my dusty pad. There's our collection of cards from 1981 Tops. ton of Mariners cards, and that's about it. That's it for today's episode. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Tell me what your favorite card is of the 1981 Tops set. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for a plenty of more cool episodes coming up. Have a great one.